Hi guys. A few months ago, I did this video where I recreated Pinterest outfits. That was really, really fun. I love doing that. There was a few gems in that video that I am so happy that I recreated and I have them in my closet. But today, I have quite a few more outfits to try on and test out and see if I can rock them like the girls on Pinterest. And I'm gonna be honest, I think these outfits I have right here are a little bit cuter than the other video so we'll see we'll see I haven't even like really tried them on yet I just put them together like the picture to the best of my ability because some of them are not spot on some of them are very spot on but um yeah if you like these kind of videos and you feel inspired or you just like to see me try on clothes uh let me know and I might turn it into like a little series on my channel of like recreating outfits and so on Pinterest but yes this is the second part and yeah uh let's just get into me trying on clothes <laughs> Okay, so I have five outfits that I have screenshotted from Pinterest. God, Pinterest. <laughs> also, I have a new camera. This is my first like video I'm filming with my new camera. I did film a vlog where I went to go get it, so that might be up sometime, that might not be. I don't know, I didn't really like the footage of me getting it, to be honest, but hey. If you see that video, just know that this was filmed after I got my camera. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm trying to find these screenshots. Here they are. Some of these are really, really spot on, and some of them are just like kind of a interpretation <laughs> or inspired by the look but we're gonna start off you know kind of light kind of basic but this picture is um the beautiful madison beer she's like walking down the street i don't know if this is like a pot star i don't know if this is like a paparazzi picture or if she just like um posed for this but it's really really cute it's very basic it's just a big oversized sweatshirt some ripped jeans um we're not going to be doing shoes just because i'm in my house and i don't want to do shoes last time i did um me trying on the clothes like outside but like i'm sorry it's 20 degrees outside i'm not going outside we're just going to be doing it in my room over here i'll show you in a second oh i've got these ripped jeans i actually used these in my other video for my little like nirvana shirt outfit these are just like from shein they're very ripped and and kind of look like hers and then we got this really really oversized gray sweatshirt from Amazon I'll link everything down below where I got it um if I can link it like per se it was thrifted I would just tell you like the brand anyways without further ado let's just try on the first outfit <laughs> okay so I moved rooms because the lighting is much better in here than it was the other room I don't know I just got to accept that even though this room is not as cute as that room in there that I just need to film in here because the lighting is way better because there's two huge windows and that room has one window. So anyways, yeah, so we're starting off with the Madison Beer outfit right off the bat. It's really, really cute. I just paired it with some uh, silver jewelry that I had. Yeah, I don't really like gold jewelry. I like silver, so that's what I'm doing for this. And I wish you could see my outfit a little bit better. I guess this is kind of okay. I'm sorry, I don't really have a good like wide lens, but yeah, this is the outfit very oversized sweatshirt vibes ripped jeans i really like this like i like these jeans by themselves but like it these are kind of weird right here and they give me like <laughs> so i like wearing a shirt long enough to get like the full ripped jean effect but then also like you know careless slouchy vibes it's very comfortable i like it a lot i will say i don't really feel that confident in this just because the big oversized sweatshirt does make me feel a little bit like too like a little slouchy and i'm sure it would look great on other sizes too i think it's just me and i just don't really like this style of clothing on me like i like baggy pants and little shirt or like a big shirt and like leggings so i don't know that's just me this is my personal thing so i think i would get this like a 7 out of 10 i like it but I don't know. It's just not my personal favorite, but I'm sure we're going to have better ones to come. So let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, moving on to our second outfit. This is a very like dressed up sweatpant vibe. This this outfit has sweatpants, but it has like a really pretty like ribbed tank top. I couldn't find a ribbed tank top, so I'm just going to use a cropped white shirt, a little lock necklace, and a sweatery plaid shirt i'm so bad at explaining things so let me just show you what i have conjured up so i'm wearing sweatpants right now so i'm just gonna use these sweatpants <laughs> this white shirt that is ribbed like the tank top but it's just like a little short sleeve crop top shirt and then i got this plaid shirt it's not the same color as the other one i think that one's a little bit more like bluish gray and this is more like tan brown white vibes but it's cute it's really warm i wore it in a video a few videos ago um yeah so let's try the second outfit on Okay, so here's outfit number two. It was the uh, dressed up sweatpants look. So, right off the bat, I'm going to be honest. I really, really wish I would have like a plaid jacket like she did, like the blue color. I like the tan color, 
but like I don't think it matches do you think it matches I don't know but yeah I got my little sweatpants on see I like this look I like the sweatpants and the shirt it's cute but then once you add this like it kind of dresses it up but it doesn't really match that well I don't know what do you think <laughs> and I had this weird thing about wearing cream or tan colors with blonde hair like I love to wear white with blonde hair that doesn't bother me some it does bother some people but for me I like white I like uh blonde hair with white but I don't know wearing this kind of stuff with blonde hair just has always irked me I don't know I don't like it and if, so, if some people don't know I used to have brown hair I had brown hair up until I was like 19 so I only had blonde hair for like a year and a half ish I don't know that's just a little a little pet peeve of mine but hey it's a cute outfit it's cool it's cool to try it's very like loungy but also kind of dressy with the good looking jacket this jacket's from Shein and it's like actually really good quality maybe this color just isn't for me and I'm just a little hater but um I don't know I give this outfit like a 7.6 out of 10 I can't give it quite an 8 but it deserves a little more than a seven and a half. so 7.6 <laughs> it's really good but I don't know I think that if this was a different color or maybe if this was a little bit tighter or maybe if my hair was like brown it'd be better okay we're gonna move on to outfit number three okay so the third outfit looks like it was like straight up <laughs> screenshotted off of somebody's instagram and then uploaded to pinterest i'm not complaining because it's a cute outfit but i'm just saying it's not like a typical outfit pick so this girl just has some baggy mom jeans and like a cropped white tank top with a little angel on it so i have something like that i don't know if that's an angel but it, i don't know i'll show you i have this little tank top and it's not i don't know if it's the same design but it does kind of have like the little tapering on the edges like her tank top did so we're, i actually think this is a really cute tank top i haven't got to wear this yet and I really like it. And then I'm just pairing it with a pair of baggy mom jeans from the thrift store that don't have any holes in them. And hers don't have any holes in them. So let's try it on outfit three. So this is the tank top outfit. I actually ended up just putting a jacket on because I'm very insecure about my arms. Like they're one of my most problem areas when I gain weight. Like my arms puff the freak up, so I, uh, I'm just insecure about my arms, and I don't really want to, I don't really want to show my arms in the videos, so I'm not going to. But I really like these pants, they're definitely 90s mom jeans, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they're really cute, I like them a lot. This tank top is super cute, I love the little butterfly logo on it, this is from Shein, I like, I get a lot of clothes from there, I don't know, I'm out of breath, I think like changing clothes, it's kind of hot in here, so I think I would be more apt to wear this outfit with sweatpants, like this jacket, this tank tank top and sweatpants that would be a super cute outfit I think it's just like the tank top and the uh, 90s uh, the mom jeans combined it just it's literally giving me 90s vibes not really getting the uh Brandy Melville vibes that other girl was getting off but hey everybody's different and if you like this kind of style you'd rock it doesn't matter your freaking size I'm out of breath I'm so sorry yeah I think I'm gonna give this one like an 8 out of 10 that's all I really got to say about it we're gonna move on to the next one Okay, so the last two are skirt outfits. If you know me, you know I love a good freaking mini skirt. I love skirts. So the fourth outfit is a very, very basic outfit. You probably have seen this on your Pinterest before. And if you haven't, that's okay because that makes it even seem a little less basic. I have this pink skirt that I have worn a video before. I can't remember. I don't know. But I didn't include it in my last Pinterest video. And I see this all over Pinterest all the time. So we're going to get the uh, most use that we can out of it. <laughs> uh, it's just this little pink skirt. And we're going to pair it with this little like cream white uh, cardigan it's a little cropped cardigan from the thrift store uh, it's a little bit longer than hers but like that's fine so this cardigan this skirt let's try it on outfit number four this is four right yeah okay so right off the bat i really like this outfit i was originally going to keep this closed but there's that really big trend going around right now where like people leave their cardigans open this isn't like a tie cardigan so it's not supposed to be like this but we're trying it out because together it kind of gives me like secretary vibes and i'm not digging it okay, i'm gonna back up i got my little pink skirt this is from the thrift store. It's like an old grandma sweater, like I can tell. It's just like that material because they used to make things a lot better than they make them now. So it's like thick and you can just tell it was meant for somebody's grandma. <laughs> Cute. I, I like this skirt. It makes me feel confident even though I do have a little bit of belly pudge. All of us do, not all of us, but a lot of us do. And it's fine. It's literally fine. It's your uterus. It's like protecting. So if you have a little belly pudge, it's okay. If you have a little belly pudge, it's okay. Okay, I'm out of breath. <laughs> 
But anyways, I like this outfit a lot. I think it's super, super cute. I'm going to give this like a 8.5 out of 10. This is more my style than anything else I've tried on today. I'm trying to do this. Like, I'm holding it so it, like, stays open and, like, kind of looks cute. I don't know what I'm saying. But let's move on to the last outfit. For the fifth and final outfit, this is what I'm most excited about. Like, I don't know. I've just been geeking <laughs> over this outfit ever since I bought this skirt. So this is the outfit. It's a purple skirt with a purple shirt. What's that word? A little monochromatic moment going on. But I'll show you what I have conjured up for this video. I'm going to stop saying conjured up. What I have found. So this skirt is literally the exact same skirt that she had on. I mean, I don't know if it's the exact same company or whatever, but it looks the exact same. It's purple. It's got a little plaid and pink and a little bit of yellow in there, actually. I just, I just broke my hanger. What the freak? Okay, well, let's not. <laughs> and then I just bought this little uh, purple bodysuit to go under the skirt. So, uh, yeah. Final outfit. Let's try it on. Okay, so the last and final outfit. I'm going to be honest. I think this is probably my favorite outfit I've tried on today. I was really thinking that this, like, bodysuit was going to be a little too small, but it honestly fits fine like it fits like a glove this skirt is a little bit long it's not like too long if it was like maybe like that i like a little bit better maybe i can hem it or get like some hem tape or something or if i was just to take a picture and i would just like hike it up or something <laughs> but yeah i love this outfit i give it a 9 out of 10 like this is definitely my style i think with our, the outfits we turned on today we definitely progressed as we went along which is pretty good uh let me know like what your favorite was i don't know what it is like this outfit is just so cute i don't know like I just feel confident in this. I think the purple and purple like match perfectly. It looks closest to the picture of all of the ones I've put on today. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of walking in circles at this point. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy I did to do these videos because sometimes I just feel like I wouldn't put these kind of outfits together until I see them on somebody else. Yeah, and I hope I inspired just even one person out there to go out of your comfort zone go in your closet and find some outfits because a lot of times i don't even have to like buy these pieces i just have them and i put them together um yeah anyways i guess let's just roll the outro okay well that was five outfits that i found on pinterest that i wanted to recreate and see if i could you know rock them and look cuter than myself let me know what your favorite outfit was and if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching i love every one of you so much it means the world to me to comment back to you guys and see that you actually like me like i don't know like it just excites me it makes me happy that people actually want to watch me um i really love you guys and appreciate every comment every like every um words of encouragement everybody's just so nice to me and i don't know i don't know where i was going with that but i just want to say i am very very grateful and thankful for everyone who clicks on this video or likes it or comments or even is a silent viewer like i just i'm thankful and i love you guys but um also before i end this video i just wanted to say that i'm going to be streaming on twitch i know i always freaking say that and i never do but i'm going to this time i got all my stuff set up um and it's, just, it's ready to go i just gotta do it anyways yeah gonna be streaming twitch that could be cool that could be fun we could hang out and talk and chat oh and one last thing that's actually relevant to this video if you like this kind of videos let me know down below and if you want to see me make more videos of recreating pinterest outfits or if you have like an outfit um in general that you like me to recreate DM me on instagram my instagram is bridget just like my youtube handle with all that being said i guess until next time i will see you guys in the next video bye guys bye i'm trying to sing off